Introduction to Weaving 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 is a method of fabric production in which two sets of yarns are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric. The fabric is usually woven on a loom, a device that holds the ends or warp, vertical yarns, in place while picks or filling yarns, horizontal yarns, are woven through them. The way the warp and filling threads interlace with each other is called the weave. History of Weaving it is not known clearly how weaving began, but it appears that the idea of weaving certainly preceded looms by many thousands of years. It can be presumed that the man first got the idea to weave by observing certain birds that weave nests or watching the wind interlace the leaves of date palm or see the spider making its net on the bush or by studying the silkworm to see if thread can be made usable. Plating and baskets making was a preliminary step to weaving cloth. Various different forms of basketry techniques were employed wherein different types of fibers, roots were coiled, intertwined to make baskets. These were initially used as vessels for carrying fish from fish traps and berries from forests but they were eventually applied to hampers, cradles, etc. Basketry was modified to mat making used for carpets, coverings, wrappings as well as temporary shelters for house. The weaving of textiles on the loom is believed to have begun in Neolithic age. Weaving Preparation Winding During winding, yarns are wound from the feed onto a bobbin, which is usually a conical or cylindrical tube made of cardboard, plastic, or, seldom, metal. A large variety of bobbin sizes are available, cross-wound bobbins that may be produced with random winding or precision winding are the most commonly used. Winding is a process, which is the end product of ring spinning, are converted into suitable form of package. Main objectives of winding process are to increase the package size, clear yarn defects and produce a package suitable for subsequent process, size and shape. Warping For warping, a portion of the total number of threads are wound on a warp beam. Several warp beams are rewound together onto the final warp beam, this procedure is called assembling. It is often combined with a sizing process. This procedure is preferably used for large lots with simple designs because the number of patterns produced by the warp is restricted. The main objective of warping is to get the required number of ends as per requirement. Section Warping With section warping, narrow warp sections of the desired length are wound parallel to each other onto a warping drum with the final thread density. The slide-off of the warp sections is prevented by a conical arrangement. Many sections are deposited next to each other, until the whole width of the warping drum is filled. After section warping, the warp threads are rewound from the warping drum onto the warp beam. The potential for patterns is unlimited, which makes this procedure suitable for smaller lots and for complicated warp designs. Sizing Sizing is the preparation or coating of the warp threads for better efficiency during weaving. Sizing has the function of enhancing the mechanical properties and the loading capacity of the thread without reducing the thread elasticity. It also serves to reduce yarn hairiness. In addition to their positive influence on weaving processing, lubricants need to be recyclable, as about half of all textile sewage is produced during desizing. The sizing procedures can be divided according to groups of slashing products, hot melt sizing, application of a melt liquid, water-free bonding agent. Cold sizing, application of a small amount of bonding agent at room temperature. Dry sizing, application of a melt liquid, water-free product without a sticky component. Wet sizing, traditional wet sizing, application of a water-soluble size followed by drying. Solvent sizing, 
dissolved size remains on the warp after evaporation of the solvent. Warp waxing, application of a liquid, water-containing product without a sticky component. Sizing products are divided into these main groups, starch sizes. CMC sizes, carboxymethylcellulose, based on cellulose ether. Protein sizes weaving, and synthetic sizes. It requires the warp yarn to be strong, smooth, and elastic to a certain degree. There is always a friction between metallic parts and yarn during weaving. So, the warp yarns need to be lubricated to reduce the abrasion. The application of size material helps to improve the mechanical properties of warp, reduce abrasion, and the elasticity of yarn. If you really find this video helpful and informative, like, share, subscribe, and press the bell button.